everybody, it's Cutthroat Cure from Advanced Maneuvers. Once again, joined by Nablus. And we're going to be bringing to you another Honest Product Review. In today's review, we're going to be discussing the Muse on Mini's acrylic token set. Hey everybody, so getting right into it, here we go. Here is a splattering of acrylic tokens by Muse on Minis. Yep, so we didn't want to overwhelm everyone with the, the sheer number of tokens that come in the package. So we pulled out like the basic shape and feel um, to, so you can get a good feel of the tone. So one of the cool things that you're going to notice right off the bat looking at this token set is you're going to notice that you have a lot of um, diversity. So one of the things that Muse on Minis has provided us is that um, they have given us a simple... Um, but effective um, design for certain types of things. So I know as a troll player, if I'm looking for an anime, I just need to look for um, wording with a little bit of a mountain, which is very much like their um, wooden token set, which I also own. If I'm looking for some of the, uh, you know, more basic ability stuff that um, units do or maybe a, a small spell, you know, you have these little scroll looking things. And of course, I'm going to have to get closer because the wording's a little bit harder. So you've got these like there's vengeance and here's dig in. And um, so those are on the scroll. So those look really cool. Um, you have these um, barrel aesthetic Fury tokens, which you are going to notice one thing is that most of the designs that you see in this acrylic set is um, almost an exact replica done in acrylic of the wood set. So that's one thing to definitely take notice of. Yeah. But um, you, you can see the barrels. So there's that. Um, a nice, super large feet token, Yep. Um, which is easy to see for those people who want to claim that they use their feet. Um, but maybe didn't put down their token. And then here is some mini feats, which usually means some unit's gonna rock face. And then we have um, some other things, which I'm pretty sure this is a shield. Would you say that's a shield? That is a shield. Um, a shield, and this one is for Marked for Death, which is on, I wanna say Grim 2, but it might be Grim 1. So, all right, so it is Grim 2. So let's go over these. So. Right off the bat, what are your first impressions on this? Well, you know, at first I thought this was a, a heart, <laughs> and I had to look at it before I saw it was bagpipes. And it, I thought possibly, you know, it was a bloody heart. Well, That's actually a good point. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Um, you know, th they're, they're stylized, but, you know, th this this could be, you know, something from Scorn. Um, so, which one? These? Yeah, they look like the, the stone the poop holder runs around with, or the extoller, sorry. That's a good point. Um, the rock, yep. uh, the soul stone. So let me ask you this, because you have, so I, I know from these um, being just troll tokens and playing with these, you have the Crix version of these, correct? Um, not the Muse, I have the broken eggs one. Okay, okay. Um, so with the Muse ones, I think we ha I have a copy of the Crix ones too. Um, color wise, they're very, very different. I have to say that's one thing. So yeah, this may look like the Extoler Soul, um, but if I was to put this into a Scorn set, um, it wouldn't match sure. in because yep. of the coloring. So that's one thing definitely to take consideration of is that you're not going to um, get this mixed up with your other token sets. Yeah, and I didn't mean to imply that. That was just my uh, first thing I thought of when I saw it. No, I just thought it was a good point. Yep. Um, so... Uh, these things, one of the really good benefits of this set is that each and every token is, and if I was to move these over, are double-sided. So here you got your feet token, and I'm going to flip it, and there's the other side. So, um, as you may have seen in our, in some of our, our other video, um, being double-sided makes it very, very helpful. So say, um, we have our fan here of Ragnar. And he's getting ready and, you know, I want to do my stuff and I'm rushing around. I can throw my token in there. Boom. And if I need to, I can flip it. And no matter where I drop it, it's always going to say feet. So yep. I think that's super, super helpful and um, a very good function of this token set. Yep. If you're looking for function, you can just drop these and keep rolling. Um, the status effect will be there. It'll... It'll communicate the proper game stat, so you're good. So 
going back into pulling some of these in, um, uh, the design on them is really fun. You can, they're, they're pretty colorful. You can see that uh, they all have the little designs. Um, one thing I definitely did notice that I had a little bit of issue of, and um, this is with any token set, other than my wood token set, which I have um, painted a little bit of to, you know, differentiate a little bit, is that if I was to pull all these tokens out except for our bagpipe hearts, and I was to pull a few others, the issue is, is yeah, I can look at them and they are very clear. Um, they are very clear in what they are. So if I'm looking at them like I am right now, I can definitely see this is Dash, this is Windwall, this is Boundless Charge, you know, this is Stonefall. Not hard to see. Now, if I'm quickly grabbing into a token set, um, I can definitely say that all of these being bunched up together might be a little bit of an issue, but not really, because as I said, it, on these, it's pretty clear. Yeah, you're probably separating them out by groups in your token tray. Yeah, and another really good thing I like to do with these is I like to make little baggies that actually have all of the all of my lists tokens in For it. For your caster, yeah. So I'm not getting mixed up. So, you know, if I'm playing Borka, I know I'm going to have both Mosh Pit and Windwall, and I don't have to worry about any of those. Yep. So... Let's talk about, um, so we've talked about the artwork, we've talked about the usability because they're easy to flip over. Um, what are some other things about this token set that um, you would, that uh, you think is quite notable? Um, the sheer number of them. Like you're, you're not gonna run out. Like the, so how much dig in, dig in does trolls have you mean you i mean that was something that definitely came out a lot in mark three um when we got ragnar so right here every one of these tokens right here shown these are all dig in and these are just the ones that we could see there's probably <laughs> another few in the pile um one of the cool things is is that you can go on to muse's website to the troll tokens and you will find a complete listing of every single token they include in this set and let me tell you this set is jam-packed full of a ton of stuff so if i was to take if i was to take a um a bucket and pour all these into it boom that is a literal crap ton of tokens oh there's a few more we missed <laughs> so um definitely you're getting um quite um your money's worth when you get this token set and as i say it's those are pretty deep and very colorful and a lot of them yeah you're you're gonna feel like you got your money's worth so um the price point on this is these this token set comes in at this token set i said troll can set <laughs> this token set comes in at 50 dollars, and in my opinion is a very good deal yeah, you're not going to be disappointed in it. And uh, so, I mean, you're getting usability, you're getting a token set that is extremely useful, looks good, um, and are very, very durable. Um, so all in all, it's a very, very good set. And yeah. if you're a competitive player, you know, this this is a must have. You've, you've got to have a good token set. I agree. I agree. Um, the Privateer Press token set can only last you for so long. Yeah. And sometimes you got to upgrade into your big boy pants. So, would you purchase this token set yourself if you played Trolls? I would. Especially if I'm at a convention and I don't have tokens and I'm trying to be competitive. Yeah, I'm going looking for tokens. I'd grab them instantly. I, I agree. 100%. Um, if I was in the market for a uh, token set, I would definitely um, I would consider these as one of my options. So, um, Nablus, thank you for joining me and reviewing these. Um, all in all, this is a really good token set from a gamer's point of view. They're really quick and easy to put down and are a good deal. Yeah, they're good value. All right, thank you.